um, contest. Today's the last day. I was told the votes are very close. I'm up for four categories. So I could use any votes that you guys can do before midnight tonight. You can vote from multiple email addresses. But please help. I want to win something because <laughs> I'm changing lots of stuff with my business. So I'm not sure that I'll be in this contest again next year. All right. So you ready to jump in and do some llamas? I'm going to switch the cameras up for, oh, no, that's, you have to make it bigger. I got to me. Yeah, I got to move myself over and shrink. So we're going to make this cool llama pinata, which is a shaker. How's that look, Mar? Is that okay? Perfect. Okay, good. The so this, are, this are showing up so locally. cool, you guys. He's bright. I modeled him after, um, I did a string version of him. Uh, to keep the icing a little bit lighter, but also because I wanted him to look like that. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Do you see the comments? It's so funny. So I wanted it to be a lighter um, version of the icing versus using a 104 tip and doing the back and forth, you know, the, um, the zigzag you can do on these, which is beautiful if you're doing a single layer cookie, but it makes this cookie particularly heavy. Can you hear? No, I can't oh. hear it. Um, well, I was going to do a video and break this open after my birthday a week or so ago, but then I decided it was too cute. So I'm going to wait till I can do a video outside and it's sunshine and get sprinkles everywhere. But we're going to start right in on this one. You can make this as a flat single layer version cookie. So cute, right? Yes. Yeah. is in the supply list, but we're basically going to be working with this smaller grass tip and the number. Let me see if you can see it on there. I'll read it to you, but. I wanted to see if you could see it on camera. It's a two. No, we can't see anything. So it's a 233. It's the small one. Um, just so you know, it does work with the bigger tip. If you have like a cupcake or cake size tip, it just makes it, um, the strings are not as many of them as close together. So it's more spread out. So basically what you need for this project is the same cookie cut out three times. Okay. And then I just wanted to have as much room in here as possible. So I used that little heart cookie cutter um, just because it's what I had handy when I got my cookies ready. But you could use just a basic oval in here, okay? So what we're going to do, this is one of the projects that's handy to have a turntable. We're going to do our airbrushing first so that because we want to keep all these colors, these neon colors, super bright. So we don't want to get any dusting on them. But we want to go ahead and airbrush our cookie. So it's a little camouflaged in case you want to set it upright on a table for a display. Um, I will just tell you that I dropped my airbrush gun right before this live. So we're going to see if it still works. I'm not sure if no. I really do. But if I did, I'll just talk you through how to do the airbrushing. Um, and I posted Chef Master airbrush colors for you in the supply list because the neons are fantastic. But in my original cookie, I planned out, let me start and pull this down a little bit so you can see. I planned out what I wanted my color scheme to be. And then you can see I went up the side and matched those colors, right? Can you see that okay right there? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. We're going to start at the bottom. And we basically just want to dull. We just want to dull down that bright blonde color of the cookie. Now, on a chocolate cookie, I don't feel like you need to do this at all. But what I did notice in my sample cookies that I did um, was it was super, it just seemed super bright and didn't fit the project when it was sitting upright for display. So I just popped in a couple of drops in my airbrush container. When I did this, I just use a little bit of an amount. I'm not going to rinse between colors since it's just to um, fade the colors. You don't really need to do that to clean it between each one. But I'm also keeping in mind that I'm working from a certain shade. Um, and I forgot my little airbrush airbrush pot, but I usually keep an airbrush pot off to the side and I just expel the extra liquid into that. But we're going to go right up the side. We're going to go from purple to green. So just literally one or two drops. And look, guys, so thankful my airbrush is working. My gosh, yeah. I, when it hit the ground... Um, some things went places and some things were said. Oh, <laughs> but, but I, I got, got taken care of. Now, if you'll notice, just in case you don't cover your cookie as fully as I'm covering mine, I did hit the top of the top cookie 
with a little bit of extra airbrush color. And the reason I did that was um, in case my strings were a little more spaced out than I wanted. I didn't want to have to scrape the cookie uh, and start over just because I could see the, um, the blonde part of the cookie beneath it. All right, so I'm just going right on up from that green and doing a little bit of yellow. This is a great time to have a, um, a turntable. And I, you see I've got my turntable covered. All right, now I went all the way up the cookie. And I'm just going to hit the tips of the ears with hot pink because that's the color that I wanted showing at the end of the project. That's what I wanted the bright color to be. So we're just going to add a couple drops of pink. And then we're going to jump on doing the strings. Did you see that? That happens to me every time. You see what I just did? <laughs> Told you the force was not with me today. Well, it's not It's not too dramatic. <clears throat> it didn't fall on the cookie. <laughs> That's right. Well, it would kind of be hidden, but still. Me and airbrush color, I, sh I sure do like to airbrush, but somehow no matter what I do, even if I tap these bottles before I open them, I still get that. But I guess it over time. Hit. It does get messy. Yes. You have to be in the mood for the mess, right? I'm just thankful my gun is not broken. I love this cordless airbrush gun. And I did link that for you too, but it is my favorite airbrush gun. I have a couple, but that's the one I prefer. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. And I also linked this fabulous sprinkle mix in here that I told you about last time that came from that subscription box from the Cookie Life box. This is called Taco About It. Can you see that right there? Let me see if that's that's the one you used last uh, last live. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to use this to fill my llama pinata. And basically, I'm just going to slide this over. Okay. And we need one of our icings. Um, you could take the time to match up each of your colors up the rainbow around the side. But I honestly did it in three different versions when I first did this. And you could not tell. None of the icing oozed out if you're careful. So I'm not going to do that this time since we're on a live. But what I am going to do is just go ahead and stay a little bit back from the edge on my cookie. Um, and basically, you guys, we're just creating a glue for the cookies to stick together. I also did want to tell you one of the things I learned from playing with this was that it's super important not to make these pinata cookies um, as soon as they've cooled. Like, don't let these cookies sit overnight on some paper towels. Even if they're in their airtight container, that's fine. But you really need the butter bleed to absorb off into some paper towels. Because if you attach these cookies together and you have the butter bleed has not kind of been absorbed off the cookie, um, what's going to happen is it's going to create a lot of extra moisture and eventually your, your shaker won't shake. Like a lot, of, a lot of people will purchase these and they will use them literally to be a shaker cookie to have fun, put a message in them, something like that for a party. But if you're making something that you know you're just going to have it on display, you're not actually going to shake it, um, it, it, too much moisture will cause the inside sprinkles to bind up. So definitely yeah. one of the tips I would say when making the shaker cookies is to let them be on paper towels overnight and let all that extra butter come off. It'll help you a lot as you start to assemble your cookie. So what we're going to do is just take these and we're just going to yeah. just put a little bit. Amy Sally is asking, do you feel that uh, the wireless is easier to handle than a, a plugged one? Or have you used a plug one? I've used a plug one. I'm not big on the plug ones because they seem to be, um, because I was a beginner, this was the first one I bought. It was a little less expensive. But the other reason I found, because when I tried someone else's plug-in one, it has a lot stronger airflow on the plugged Wind. in than the cordless. And so for me, it was a lot harder to start airbrushing. Um, mm -hmm. Because, you know, it, it's more difficult uh, with that stream. Um, and yes, you can turn it down, but it's still a lot stronger than this cordless. And I really love this cordless. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that helps. If you're not familiar with airbrushing, there's kind of a lot of tricks to it, you know, and that's just one of the things I thought, oh, I'll get a corded one so that when I'm doing live streams or whatever, it, the battery won't ever die. Um, but then you've got more cords in the way and it just had some other stuff for me. I'm not opposed to trying another one. It just, I wasn't very good with it the first time I used it. I, this is always my fallback. 
So you guys can see here that I came about halfway up the depth of my opening and you can see I have mixed sprinkles. And I believe you saw me pull out that one that's extra large. That one that's extra large will be too tight, so it'll keep everything else from moving around. And now we're just going to jump right back in, and we're going to attach this top layer cookie. And if you noticed in the first one, I didn't say when I was doing it, but if you noticed, I just went and put two beads. I'm kind of treating this like cookie caulking. Does that make sense? I want yeah. these to attach, but I don't need the whole cookie covered. And I really, um, it's a very thick toothpaste consistency icing I'm using. And yes, you could absolutely flood this entire cookie, then put the other cookie down on it, but you don't want to reintroduce that much, that much moisture. And you definitely don't want to introduce that much moisture that close to your opening because it will affect your shaking part later for your sprinkles, okay? Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to lightly tap this. I'm not getting anything coming out the sides, and that's what I want. But what I'm going to do so you can see it more clearly on camera is pull this one out where the majority of my airbrush color was absorbed, okay? So let's get rid of that one. And now what we're going to do, you know that little bag trick that I like to do because I don't really like to use the couplers and multiple tips. So I've trimmed my tipless bag, and I've added in my tip 233. And then we're just going to slip back and forth between each of the colors. I'm going to put this here just so you can see what we're doing. But we're going to start with our thick purple. And I'm trimming it. Can you see that if I were holding the tip here, what I want to accomplish is dropping this bag into the sleeve that has the tip in it without um, any of the tip, the plastic part of the bag being down where it'll block my... Um, the grass or the noodles. I call them noodles when I use this one. This is my noodle tip. It makes great spaghetti cakes. So we're going to drop this right down in. We'll start with purple. Now you absolutely can do the zigzag. It's just a lot more icing than this uses. I'm purging the tip off to the side just to make sure. One thing I would tell you when you get these tips, they're not all created equal, even though they're all the same tip number. So always check to make sure all the holes are actually open before you start piping a string project like this. All right, now I'm going to give this little guy a turn. And let me talk you through real quick what we're going to be doing. And then just watch. We're going to start all the way over here. And we're going to start so it attaches here. We're going to go down and back up. Because right here on a real pinata, it's actually a loop. So we want to, we don't want just hanging down strings like fur. We want to actually create the loop as if it was a, a pinata. So we're starting, letting it get attached down and back up. And we're going to do that all the way across our purple area. And you see how it's just laying over? And I'm letting it come a little bit off the cookie so we get that cool shaggy look. Now the purple, I'm going a little further up because I want to make sure I get a good line across there. I'm happy with how that one looks. Now, typically, you know, we would say you're doing purple, do all the purple. That doesn't work on a cookie like this because we need it to be layered. So I'm going to pull. You see, we're going to do purple again up here. We're going to pull this out. We're going to jump to our hot pink. I just need to trim the tip off that bag. We're going to drop it back in that same sleeve. See how the bag is nice and clean? We're going to drop it right in there. I'm going to take a second and purge the bag off to the side. Now, in real life, I would be saving all this icing because it's good icing. I'd be purging it off in a bowl, and then I'd just be rebagging all this together to use to make base icing for another color a different day. Um, but for you guys, I, we're on camera. I just want you to see that it's purging and it goes all to pink. So, so gonna, Jeremy was saying why you don't use a coupler. You see, Jeremy, this is why she's able to switch more quickly she can just she doesn't have to unscrew and rescrew so she's trying to save time honestly probably i'm a little lazy about i don't like cleaning tips i get stuck cleaning so many tips every week well it's not crazy. just cleaning amy yeah. you have to buy you'd have to yes. own uh five different uh, grass tips not everybody has uh yes. used to buy you know i mean if you're going to make pinata cookies once a year Yes. I don't need all this grass tips. I, I And I really, this gives it such a cool look. This is the perfect tip. Now, look, you guys, can you see that a couple of the strings are breaking? 
Can you see that that it's happening? But not you don't really. notice you don't notice it at all on the cookie. Like you're not seeing it at all. All right, we're gonna. Well, this is thickish icing though because um, like they're really staying separate. It's not melting together. Right. I took my icing until it was toothpaste consistency and a matte finish. So if you're used to painting, it's like a satin finish. On um, you know how it just. It's just off that sateen, like an eggshell finish. It's like that. So you can see it when you're bagging the icing. And it is important that you do your icing as close to when you're going to pipe these as possible because you know that this breaks down. All right. So we've gone to the green. We're going to pop up to yellow. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but I'm doing less on this one, less color changes than this one because I wanted to have two of them to photograph together, but you certainly can make smaller passes. And in a second, I'm gonna show you how to trim something in case something happens and you just get a little too much icing going. I just wanna show you how to deal with that. But I'm gonna come right back across the top of this and do a very small overlay of the shag. All right, can you see? And this is so simple. It's basically just completely unbroken strings as I go across the cookie. We're gonna pop up to orange. And then I think I'm gonna switch to hot pink, you guys, because I want hot pink, hot pink to be my top color. But let me show you this little trick in case this gets out of hand for you, okay? Um, I'm purging, just purging off to the side until I hit the next color. But let me do something a little more than it needs to be over here, and then I'll show you this little trick, because you're gonna need to know this too. Do you see how this is so much longer and it's so much icing on the cookie? Mm. If you take a boo-boo stick or um, you could even use a cake palette or something, you can actually go straight down on the icing. It's very thick, so it works super easy. Just pull off that extra if you don't like, you know, the first couple times you do this, you may end up with just a little more icing than what you like, okay? So just take that into consideration. Don't be too hard on yourself. Grab another color and keep going. Um, I'm going to skip going back to purple because I want to go right to hot pink at the top. I'm purging off to the side until I get to the pink. Again, all this icing that I'm purging, normally if I was doing a whole bunch of these cookies, I would be doing that into a bowl and then I would bag that and pop it in the freezer and use it for base icing for black later on. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to take my boo-boo stick or my thingamajini, whatever this one is called. This one's a thingamajini, the pink one. And I'm just going to take this little bit of extra icing off. The reason to do this is important. If you're going to use this cookie like a shaker and you're going to be picking it up, you've got such fine detail on these strings that if you touch those, then you're going to cause pieces to break. Mm. And what's, what's particularly nice about this, see on the edge, can you guys see that every single string is actually connected yeah. so it looks like a real pinata? Mm -hmm. So just make it fun if you're going to be doing photography. Um, just take the time while it's wet so it doesn't cause you drama later and drama mm -hmm. on your llama. Mm -hmm. Mary Lynn, most of the products, I don't know where you're located, uh, but uh, if you're getting Black Pearls, get the PME brand and Amazon has, has yes, those. And they, they have two sizes right now. Now, guys, last time I didn't do this, all right? I kept this one, just really bright neon colors. But what would it be on a Tuesday if I didn't throw some diamond dust in it for you? So I'm going to use some, some white diamond dust and get a little sparkle rolling. And we're going to see what that, oh, I like it. I wasn't sure if I'd like it. That's why I didn't do it on the first one. But it does. it's really pretty. I'll lift it and show you. And then somewhere around here. I pulled out. Oh, I see it. There we go. So can you see the sparkle? Very nice. So yes. cute. Also, you don't have taco cookies anymore to show them together. Yeah, I do. I have one behind me. Oh, because that's And that's, then, I'm, then I'm going to give them a bonus of something I found in the dollar store yesterday. Oh, yeah. You went back to the dollar store. Yes, I did. My friend that works there called me and said, you need to come look at something. So guys, in that talk about it mix, they have this really pretty lime green. So I'm gonna pop that on for the eyeball. So take that into consideration when you plan out your colors, roughly where you're gonna want your eyeball and make sure your neon green is not below where the little oh eyeball is. Oh my gosh, yes, that's a very good tip. Isn't that cute? You don't wanna very get that far long and then have the wrong color be. 
So this is, let me move last week's, my prototype out of the way. We're going to put this one in the frame for you. Then let me show you the taco from last week, right? So how cute is this? These can be your two upright on your platter and then have all your one dimensional cookies down on the tray. And this is great on a single layer cookie, but look how beautiful this is. This is a nice cookie right and really pretty this is something this is a nice gift item if you want to individually box it and offer it as a item that someone can purchase for a birthday present this is really cute kids love to crack them open all right so that is my project for today that's my llama pinata for cinco de mayo but then awesome. look, look so what, you'll find her supply list and the templates for her taco and all that in the coffee shop i have it running at the bottom here let me pop yeah. it on again so there's the the link to the coffee shop if you want to go check out her icing recipes or her um cookie dough recipes and also all the templates for this week and last last month's project yeah. right i know this has been so fun have you realized how long we've done this i saw that you were going back and labeling things with episodes so i'm going to do that too but um we've actually been doing this like over three months now it's fun Yes, it's it, well. The time is um, seriously like we're we're May. I can't believe we're it. May. The, the the time is flying. So, do you want to see this totally cool dollar store? We find? Well, of course. So, let me get this straight though first. So, you're not at the dollar store. You're being a good girl. You're at home. You're not spending money, and then you have enablers calling you, telling you to go shop. Is this what's happening? That's what happens. Yes, they said. Oh, there's something I thought of right when I saw it. So okay. Like, okay, let me come see. So you ready? Okay, we're so ready. This is going to be available as the packaging for a DIY kit that I'm going to offer for sale through my local store. I can't ship it because of the icing, um, but it's going to be a DIY cookie kit with 12 cookies in it and the icing and the sprinkles. Look at that. Isn't that oh, cute? It's a, it's a tumbler. A huge tumbler. It's bigger than my head. Can you guys see it? Let me get where you can see it. Oh, and okay. Top, so tell us. And the top you, screws off. Look, top screws oh gosh, off. It's a screw. So how much was that? A dollar. A dollar. Yes. And look, I have a hot paint version or a white version. And these are enormous. I, truthfully, if I wanted to put ice cookies in here, this would hold almost two dozen of the ice cream cookies. This well, did huge. you clear out the store? Well, I did buy everything that was on the shelf yesterday, but I have it on good authority that there will be more out by tonight. So in Culpepper, they may be gone. I'm just saying. If you're not watching live, it may be too late for you by this afternoon. So oh my gosh. Well, that's the thing is, you, like right now, let me tell you, I'm not in the mood to eat ice cream in Montreal. It's freezing. But I, that's the thing. You, if you want to get your stuff, you have to shop before everybody else. Yes. And right? I have just gotten, you know, another enabler alert here. We had shared that um, cookie cutter site for um, AliExpress. Remember, we shared yes. that with everyone. So I had just gotten in a, a really cute uh, six piece cookie cutter set of ice cream cones which are the perfect size because they're like three, three and a half inches. But again, this just goes back to um, my obsession with working from packaging backwards to bring a fully finished gift item to you, right? So this is also, if I can get enough of these, my local cookie group, when we do our summer desserts, um, their cookie kit will be in that when they pick up just so they have something. Very cute. cute. Now, let me tell you guys, let me just give you an idea of how big this thing really is. This is a tweets marker. Can you see that? Oh yeah, it's very I mean, this is enormous. So I can fit a ton of really great stuff in here. So I thought for the kids, you know, I'm I'm going to be down for the count next week. So I'm missing a lot of graduations. When I come back, I want to have something really quick that I can do for them, really fun, and spend some time with them and then my local cookie group. So um, yes, I'm planning. So see, I know I'm going to survive the second shot, Mar. I just don't know how long it's going to take me to be back up and running. Yes. But, I, but someone asked me, would I be here next Tuesday? I will be here next Tuesday. If I'm breathing, I will be on this live stream. I've already prepped my project. So, so next Tuesday, yeah, that's interesting because Tuesday, we're the 4th. So the next Tuesday is the 11th and you're getting your shot on the 7th? 
Yes. Uh, whatever, whatever Friday is, they moved me to Friday yeah. afternoon. Cause yeah, I I'm, I'm up for mine right after we do our live on the 11th. I'm going for my number one. So, so hopefully you'll sail through number one, right? I'll ho hopefully. Hopefully. But no, I didn't sail through number one, so I can't count on that for number two. So I'm missing a lot of Mother's Day business and a lot of graduation business. But I would rather do that than cancel on people. I just think that's terrible to do for people to be counting on you and then you not be there. So um, that's the only reason I've really shared with everybody what's potentially going to happen to me. So yes. if you feel like donating to my coffee shop next week, just know that I would really appreciate it. <laughs> We can use well, all the help. Well, thank you, Jeremy. You know, I have to say, though, the vaccine, I don't know that it's that optional. I think it's really going to be um, something that might restrict people's circulation, or, you know, travel and stuff. So I, I don't think it's optional. I do, think, I do think that as well, that it could lead to that. Um, I'm just concerned because for me, guys, I know I'm the oddball out. I know so many people that just got the shots. They were fine. My husband was pretty good till the second shot, but my first shot, I was down for seven days. And when I called in to tell them what my reactions were, what really got scary was when they said, do you have a history of stroke, high blood pressure or um, blood clots? And I was like, what? <laughs> should I even be doing this? And they're like, no, no, you're breathing. You're fine. You should definitely. You're breathing. Breathe. You're alive. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, then I'll just plan. And then they said, you know, just plan, plan to be off the week. And I was like, me and off a week, those are not things that usually line up. Exactly. So we'll see. We'll yeah. see. But, um, anybody have questions on the pinata or the taco? A anything? We good? I'm not seeing any any questions popping up. Okay. So do, we switch, do we yeah, switch are, it up? I'll pop you, here. Let me yeah, pull me to the side and I'll make my center. Let's hope my camera here. cooperates. There and we Barb, go. Do we need to put in did we need to put anything up for anything that's coming up over the next week or so for you? Not really. Um I I had my class on um that was so much Saturday, fun. I think it was. And uh, people were asking for for me to list it on coffee, so I'm editing it. I will list it. Okay. And it was then so much fun, projects Mark. here. If you want to look in the coffee shop, some previous projects that are up there. There's some yes. classes if you want to check it out. And then today I'm going in this theme of, of Amy of packaging backwards. So here is the latest coffee shop listing. And this is in the cookie yes. school group. So I call it Beach in a Box. <laughs> I love it. That is a great title. And by the way, if you miss Marsh class on Saturday, it was fabulous. You should get signed up for the next one. For real. It was so much fun. Really enjoyed spending time with all the ladies. Yes, it was a nice visit. So, so today here is the box. Now this is a pizza box. Pizza boxes aren't particularly, uh, you know, like pretty, but the thing about a pizza box is they're shallow. It's hard for me to show you guys on the video here, but they're shallow. So when mm -hmm. you're putting things in there, well, it's not super deep, right? You're you're not left with like two inches of box on the outside. So would you say you bought the one and a half inch depth box or a two inch? What do you it's think? It's probably closer to the two. Let me grab my little ruler here. And you can so, get it on Amazon, guys. For sure, if you're in the States, you can get that on Amazon. Yeah, that's probably more two inches. Anyway, and so, yeah, so you're working from the box to your cookies, right? So you're measuring. You don't want to have a ginormous box because then you're going to need ginormous cookies. Right. And then the great thing is you can kind of personalize the box. I so love there's a label. Yeah, I made a label. So that's so that's what I had in the, in, with the supplies if you want to cut it. But you could also print on stickers and happy uh, uh, happy birthday or whatever you want to make. And the other thing, so fun, you could offer this as a personalized item yes. and create the sticker for them and just charge a few extra dollars. People exactly. And the thing that's great is, let's say you were doing for a holiday, well, you could do all this in advance. Like this, mm -hmm. this is you, you know you you make them and you can just put them on the shelf and then when you need to, you assemble. That's all right, right. so. I'm going to move my giant pizza box. So I love the design of this cookie too, Mar. It's beautiful. I thought it turned out, it turned out well. So it's mostly hand cut, but you can do some, um, 
you know, cookies that are like cookie cutters, you know? So all that's yeah. listed either in the coffee shop or in the group. So here is the unveiling. So you would basically uh, package them up, put your label, a ribbon and everything. And so when they receive it, they kind of unveil it and open it. That's and it's beautiful. just a different way to package your gifts. I was thinking about you, Amy, actually, as like you live in a kind of touristy area. So you have tourists coming in. Yes. Well, you could have landmarks in there. You could open yes. it up and let's say have, uh, you know, uh, let's say there's a statue or there, yes. like every city has their own thing. Like in New York, right. you could have the Statue of Liberty, a taxi in the front. I mean, really That's infinite so cute. possibilities to, you know, to kind yes. of personalize your boxes. I and this love is it. But you could do mountain scenes. You could do camping. You could do. Yeah, for us, we could do Blue Ridge and have a black bear in there. Maybe a little fox. It'd be so cute. Exactly. exactly. So the pizza boxes, you can buy them. They're really cheap. Like if you buy them from an actual box seller, they're much cheaper than buying from Amazon. And you get like 50 boxes, like really affordable. Mar, the green lace around the outside edge, is that scrapbooking paper that you That is scrapbooking paper. So that's just like a, a way to make the box a little prettier on the inside. Beautiful. You know? I noticed and then, it. And then the that's a pretty tight fit for me to pull it out. But if it's too like shaky, then it, when they open it, everything's going to be all over the place, right? right? And in this particular version, I used uh, chocolates. Mm -hmm. You can buy uh, chocolates that are like seashells. That's in the supplies. I posted them. But here mm -hmm. I used fondant um, seashells. Trish is asking if that cutout edge, that's actually on already, it's already done on scrapbooking paper, right? That's what you use. No, here. no. I did that. I did that and I put okay. it in the listing. It's, it's okay, basically good. like a square with like um, the flaps here. I'm going to try to pull this out. So this is okay. a separate cookie. And then the surfboard is not attached. And, and you know, this, really, this is kind of like a puzzle cookie too. I bet the kids would have a blast with this once it came out of the box. Exactly. It's just, you see how they kind of come apart? They're just loving like it. That. And so they the- love everything about this. And then that's the back part. It's just to beautify the box. You know what she has right there though, guys? Do you see that piece of paper? That's food safe paper. You see it? Yeah. So that's all you have to do. And that's also for the butter because your scrapbooking paper is going to get all yucky. So you just put it like that and then you can just easily then pop it in your pizza box. You see, so cute. you just pop it in your pizza box and you finish off your little scene. Now, I and don't know if, if they will know this or not, but they do make food safe shrink wrap bags that if you wanted to make these ahead of time, what you would do, you could then shrink wrap the entire pizza box instead of individually heat sealing each of those cookies. You could use that food safe paper, put your cookie right in there like Mar has it, close your box up. And these boxes are small enough that you can get a heat seal bag to go over it and use a, a heat gun or a hair dryer and shrink it to it. And these, you could do these ahead of time. These would be great. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yes, it is in Patreon. I just, just loaded it this morning. So for the, for today, I'm just going to quickly show you guys the beach bag. Now, she this did, particular, she this did all particular of um, cutter is actually a tombstone. Now, Halloween cutters get a bad rap because like Halloween is kind of like, you know, all scary stuff. But if you look at your Halloween cutters, there's a lot of uh, decorating options. If you're a flipper, where you're a person that sees things that, you know, like what they're not meant to be. Like a spider web makes the most perfect sun. Right. Um, you can look at your cutters and, and use them for more than Halloween. So I find this makes the most like adorable beach bag. You see? And so, so we're just going to quickly do some wet on wet on these cookies. I love your red bag too. Someone is asking about that food safe paper. I think if you search on Amazon and look for what's called quick sheets, or deli sheets. I think that's yeah, exactly this. This I call it donut paper. It's like exactly what they mm -hmm. hand you your donut. Yeah, that's what we line our boxes with for the fudge and for our pralines and for brownies. And it's it's very inexpensive, totally worth getting it. Look at how cute even you see here the two versions. Is. So you can do kind of like this or you can kind of and, and again, if you're making it for someone, well, you know, their favorite colors. And if <laughs> 
you know, like this year, we're not, we go to the beach every holiday. This year, we're not getting to go to the beach. Well, you can replicate your favorite beach or maybe what, you know, your holiday that's not happening or something, you know? Mar, you're not a lumberjack, are you? Um, that, that, I have to tell you, when I went to Disney for the first time and we went to the Canadian Pavilion and the Canadian Pavilion, the people were wearing construction boots and lumberjacks jackets, I was full offended. Like fully oh, offended. Right. Canada is more than that. <laughs> Jeremy, you're in trouble now. <laughs> uh, so, yes, Renee, that the the ice cream cone container was from just the regular Dollar Tree. So this is uh, red icing, and it's um, super red. I made it just this morning, but it's already pretty red. Wow, it's really dark for just making it today. I didn't use a lot of uh, icing because I didn't want a big batch. So I guess I did go a little maybe heavy with the food gel. So that's how I got it so red. It's beautiful though. So I'm just adding the little handle here. And you can tweak your beach bag, make it how you want. And so the things, did you hand cut everything, Mar, or are there any cutters listed? No, this is in the, I did two versions. So the prototype, I actually did it with, with cookie cutters. Okay. So this is the tombstone I used it. And I'm going to show you the difference between the two. Just let me just finish this one. So, um, so great that you turned you could into do a sandcastle. Oh, yeah. You. Sure. I mean, really infinite possibilities. A beach ball. That is amazing. So I'm just filling in the whole thing here in red. So it's cold in Canada, but you were thinking beach to get us all in the cheerful mode, weren't you? Well, you know, I have to say I'm genuinely very disappointed about my holiday situation not happening. Yes. So. Do you think do it all this summer or do you think not? What did you say? I'm sorry, the thing was shaking. Do you think you'll get to go at all this year no. to the beach? No, you'll wait till next year. No, the I, island that we go, Prince Edward Island, I think they're not going to open to Canada just to keep their residents safe, you know? Yes. So now this is kind of like a yellow orange I mix together and I'm just adding circles all over in the wet icing. So it's important to have the same consistency of the two icings and it's just circles, nothing really crazy. And then... I'm using my needle and you want to go from the outside in and ideally you're wiping your needle after each pull so that you don't end up with that orange color on the outside. And so beautiful. you're hey, just, Jean. and you can decide if you want to have four or five petals. These are really, this is a beautiful way to do the flowers. The um, design of the flower looks like hibiscus, doesn't it? And it's very easy. Perfect for no. beginners or advanced people for summertime cookies. I can oh, think of so this on, on a, bath, a man's bathing suit cutter, you know, like oh, box yeah. shirts. You could do it on a shirt, like a t shirt. Last week, I used a t shirt for the, the May the 4th there. Oh, yes. Put a collar on it. Mm -hmm. so okay. Many. You guys, the comments have slowed down. So why don't you quickly type in the comments for us what your favorite peach piece of the beach set is? And then I just shook it to get it to flatten a little bit. And now I'm just going to add a few little green dots to make some leaves that I'm going to pull again. Oh, so pretty. I love this one. Lighten it up. And you're just pulling, stick your needle in the green and you're just pulling to make like a tear shape. And you're getting an instant leaf. And then again, I'm grabbing the white. Just, I it found that it was really a little bit hard. Here, Mark. They what? like, they like, it's mixed on what everyone is favorite cookie is. We've got the flip flops. We've got the red bag. We've got the basket. We've got the surfboard, um, the tote surfboard. They like all of it. That's what that means. <laughs> the white dots just brighten it up a little bit, you know? You know what? It add, it does add a lot because the red is so dark. And then, Love so that. then I'm grabbing my black icing for the handle. So this part here, I put it just so that it's at the same height. Because if I had left that out, when I put the handle, then it would have laid flat there. So that's exactly. why I added that there. And so here, I'm just with my black icing. Oh, I love 
it. Adding my handle to the. <laughs> Jeremy just wants the biggest piece, Mark. The biggest piece. He yes. wants the biggest piece. He doesn't have a favorite. He's not. Um, not gonna play favorites on this cookie set. He just wants the biggest one. And oh, I love that. Doing kind of like you know they have like wicker on the yes. on the beach totes. Yes, that's perfect. And the one I often see, it's kind of like a, a knit thing they do, but it's very long, whereas this mm -hmm. zigzag is quite fast. And it adds just the right pop of detail there. It's beautiful. And you see the red behind, you see? Mm -hmm. And it just gives it a little bit more of a like a bag kind of look. And then here are the flip-flops. So cute. So you can just, you know, take one of the colors from the from the bag and come in and like add the, the little the little the, toe the area. flip flops you could use a mini jelly bean cutter to make those right and then just flip one side over to put it together this is actually a butterfly oh it is it's actually a flipped butterfly yeah oh, boy, the mini I can see that and then you cut it in half yeah so you wow. see here this I did it where the the flip flops where am I in frame here I you're, just you're right there and they're a little bit in front whereas my kind of final version here they're hand cut and it's all one cookie so you can kind of decide how you want to do it if you want to have it a little bit more in the foreground i mean it's it's really an art project that you can personalize and you know do exactly yeah, like purple one. the purple one the purple set do you have um sanding sugar on the thong part of the flip-flop i do i do oh, look at that and there's a little flower and you know, like the, the sand. And here's the other little detail you can see because it's a lot of sand. See, I darkened the ice, the oh, ice thing. Yeah. So it just kind of creates a bit of definition, you know, because when you layer the same colors, it's sometimes hard to see the details. Yes, that is perfect. And talk about building. Yeah, like there's so many versions and, and you can personalize it so much for your area. You know what I was Googling? The thing that I found was giving me the nicest results. Mm -hmm. If you look, go and Google and write for your town, write uh, souvenirs, like tourist right. souvenirs. Mm -hmm. And the one that I thought was really cute were magnets. So if you type, let's yes. say souvenir magnets, New York City right. souvenir magnets, wherever and they were really cute the magnets and they were giving me nice uh, cookie inspiration nice ideas yeah like for new york the big apple with the taxi and yes. so, many, so many um really i so can many totally see a new york big apple set taxi statue of liberty so it'd be so pretty amber we're gonna need you to get on that <laughs> We're gonna need a New York set from you and I'll do a mountain set for Virginia and Han Hanny can do Spain, huh? <laughs> well, and, and then you can go even further, like Halloween's, you could uh, you could do like a, you know, a mount, like, you know, the, the ghosts and the sky with bats flying yes. and then in the front here, a pumpkin patch. And I mean, you could really make so many different gift concepts of this little, so you know. Great. I love it. So I'm calling it uh, cookie cards because it's like a card, right? It opens. Oh, that's a great idea. And I then this one is the chocolate? in a block. Are those chocolate or fondant? They're little, fond they're little fondant uh, shells because so I really did like these, the chocolate ones, but they're big from a purport, yes. like the proportions. Yes. But they are nice. Like you can, you know, like they're tasty. Is anybody right. on here from Delaware? Because it would be so cool to use isomalt and make dewy diamonds. It's the only beach you can get those um, those that particular white crystalline rock on is in Delaware. Oh and yeah, I've never They're heard of it. Diamonds. They're so cool. I don't. I don't know that particular um, thing in Prince Edward Island where we always go to the beach. I find crazy amounts of um, sea glass. Oh, you do? I am a sea glass and shark's tooth connoisseur when I'm in Florida. When we're on the West Coast near Venice Beach, that well, is Well, if I was to pull, I almost pulled it out to show it, my collection of it. You, like, I have oh. a lot of sea glass. Like, when we go, 
Like you'd be like, I was supposed to get to my story when I was on holiday and people were like, what the heck? How are you finding all of this? So it's, I, it's an interesting place. I don't know how come, but they have a lot. Well, um, and there's a place on the West coast that the whole beach is sea glass. It's actually a protected place. Now you can't take anything off the beach. Oh, um, it's so, so beautiful. It's, it's such a fun way to relax when my mom and my sisters and I are together at the beach we'll spend three or four hours just finding the shark's teeth because Venice is the most popular beach for shark's teeth. Oh my. So we found some really huge ones there. So we scour for that and beach glass. Does anyone else do that? Hit us up over in the comments if you are addicted like we are. Yeah. Well, the sea glass is popular. I'm seeing sea glass, maybe some sea glass. Yeah. yeah. I think you could maybe just take like a, a candy and smash it. <laughs> Sure. Well, rock candy works, you know, like yeah. the, um, the blue or ras blue raspberry rock candy. It works great on cookies for that. Exactly. So, yeah. so, so that's it. That's the project. So this whole project is either in the cookie school or you can buy it in the coffee shop today. I didn't discount this today really because it's like the full project and it's brand new launch today. Like I edited it today. So, and you guys, you know what else we've been doing is going back afterwards and attaching these videos to the, um, to the coffee list, to the listing, to the coffee listing for whatever day we made the cookie. So it'll make it a little easier for you to see. You can view that video without purchasing anything. So you can see what's going to be coming. Um, hopefully that's helping too. So I just yes, quickly and explain and if yeah. Mary Jean's not the only one that doesn't know what it is. So sea glass mm -hmm. is glass that has fallen into the ocean through people's neglect off cruise right. ships or trash. Right. And then it breaks and then the sand, you know, it gets mm -hmm. kind of it tumbles it. it tumbles it. And then it becomes like it takes off all the sharp edges and it becomes mm -hmm. like jewelry. It becomes mm -hmm. like and then when it's wet, when you first pick it up out of the ocean, it's especially yeah. shiny. And there's nothing like holding a piece of sea glass. It's so soft. Eh? It's like, um, anyway, it's so, it's yeah. something to see. And somehow those things are always equated with very good, fun family vacations, right? It is. Well, it's very relaxing things like to do, right? Yes, yes. So thanks so much for joining us, everybody. I'm going to be on on Friday with Han and uh, Amber. This Friday, it's me and Han. So Amber's okay. going to be manning the controls. Okay. And, so, uh, and so we should both be okay next Tuesday, right? Because even if I'm a little foggy, you won't have had a shot yet. And then you'll go get yours after. So we, neither of us should be foggy the next Tuesday, right? Should be fine. I don't know how I'll be for the Friday. But um, <laughs> I should be okay. I should be okay. The the thing is, is it's kind of an unavoidable situation. Yeah. So it yeah. is what it is. I'm glad you're going because I want you to be safe. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Yes, um, and we'll see you Friday. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see what you guys are doing. So tell them one more time to go vote. Go to Seriously Sweet on Davis Street and like my page so you won't miss that free tutorial for the virtual day of sharing, which is on what day is that? Is that May 16th? Thank you. Yeah. Thing. It says your May 16th. Yes. Okay. So May 16th for that. But today, guys, because it's May 4th, it's the last day to vote for me. I'm in four categories. And I promise I'll tell you what the results are, even if I don't win. Okay. But please get in a couple of votes for me today. I could use it. So, so is it only people in your area? That well, can yeah, it's, like, it's called Best of Your Hometown. So it's the best, it's supposed to be best of Culpeper, but I noticed this year there's surrounding counties in it as well. We have counties instead of provinces, so there's surrounding counties. Um, but I was told this morning the vote is close, so I could use all the help I can get, and it doesn't matter where you vote from. So if you like watching me on Tuesday and you like what we're bringing, I would love to have the votes. So um, as, um, what do you want a link for? Oh. Yes, you can watch it on both because we're going to um, broadcast through StreamYard. So it'll go to my Facebook and my YouTube and then Frosting Creators will pick it up and also share it live to their page. Okay, okay. but it but it's a full 55 minute tutorial and it's an advanced tutorial. So it's a great value. Something like this cookie. If I were teaching this class, this would be at least a $65 class. What you're going to get that night. You're going to have a supply list, the clickable links. You'll be able to watch it if you um, 
Uh, if you join that group, you're going to be able to watch it. But this is such a great thing for summertime. This uh, We have a lot of uh, balloon conventions, I guess they're called, here in Virginia. So not too far from here in the summertime, there's a whole bunch of balloons that take off from just up the road here and then go down I, the summer. I see it as also for like baby showers and things yes. like that. I hadn't even thought of that, but wouldn't that be so cute? And you could even load the center up if you made the larger basket like the one in the photo. You could load that up with candy or something, have little candy tongs there to take things out of the center. And those, you those, to know if you're going to have it on replay. Yeah, it'll stay on my site because I'm it's free. I've been totally donating my time and everything for that. So um, it will be on my Facebook page without and doing remind them where your link to vote. That's what she's asking, Cheryl, oh, is where's the link to vote? You have to go to Seriously Sweet on Davis Street on Facebook, and it's the top link post. It's, I pinned it to the top of the page. And it says best of the best of your hometown and has a little logo thing there. If you click on that, I put direct links over to the four categories I'm in to make it super easy. You don't have to dig around in there and find me. So that should help. But definitely like my page so you don't miss the 16th because that's I want everybody to get that little extra free value. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. We're three minutes under. What? How did we do that? We did complicated cookies too. What happened? I don't know. I don't I know. No, like I, I, today I was more talking about the project. I just did the the. But oh, here he added your link. Thank you, Thank uh, you Jeremy. Jenny. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you to everybody that is. Um, and um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of um, like requests. So if you guys do have a theme or topic that you'd like to see. We welcome that. Um, I don't know if we just always hit it on the mark and you guys are happy with what we're doing, but if there's stuff that you're curious about or you want to know more about, uh, don't hesitate to send a message or to say, you know, could you guys talk about X, Y, Z topic? Yeah. It would be our pleasure and sometimes also help us because it's like cooking yeah. supper. What do I make tonight? But I can tell you, Mar, I have something cool for next week. Um, that that and I'll sh well no I'm not going to show you because I don't want to ruin it but I have something cool for next week that I've been playing with that you can use on um, cakes or cookies right you can do a large version or a small version so I've got that for you and then I am totally ready to move on to some summertime cookies can we can we do that or do we have something else that they want us to go to right away I'm well there's day bright eyes the same yes. problem, which is I have a couple of cookies cut for that yes. yes. And I don't know if you watched last Friday when I was on with uh, Amber and Han. I did a Father's Day uh, the project tie. there. So, tie. so oh, much to do for that. And how, yeah. this is one maybe you could do how to preserve the cookies. Um, I actually haven't done that yet, but I can link some videos for you guys. I've watched a couple videos. But I generally, there were so many cookies that I wanted to save that my husband was like, no, that's not happening. So I just got really great pictures done and started doing pictures. It's so funny. What is she saying? Reservations? I don't know what that means. I don't. Yeah. What is that? What's that for, June? Tell us. Oh. Yes. Graduation is coming. I have to say, I don't know. My two kids are graduating this year, one high school and one college, and there is basically no graduation happening. So maybe I'll just make poop emojis. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> We have a great cutter for that. You know, there's one on the market, right? A poop emoji? Oh, yeah, I know. You guys, thank you. It helps me. Helps me, helps me. Oh, you were sick. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you glad you're so better. Crazy. Okay. You're going to bake yourself some cookies, Jeremy? Oh, for dinner. She's made, She's saying for dinner. Oh, I know what Jeremy's getting for Father's Day. He's going to have some more of that custom homemade ice cream. That's what's going to happen. Maybe a poop emoji with a grad cap. Yeah, we could do that. We could probably do. Oh, someone wanted Franken cookies. You could do that as a Franken cookie. Oh, yes. I'm sure everybody would be very confused as they. <laughs> as they. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be any worse than anything else that's happened in the last year. It's so oh, funny. that's an interesting one. Oh, yeah. You know, beauty, that's an interesting one. I have mm -hmm. seen those fairy things as well. So cute. Yeah, a lot of ideas. Okay. And somebody Friday was asking, um, somebody on Friday wanted to have some time where we talked about like the chemistry part of 
why certain things are in icing and why, hey Nadine, why certain things are in the cookie dough. So probably at some point we should do that too, right? Yes, absolutely. In the baking part. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And because the other aspect of, uh, of it all, well, is just the fact that we are international, right? So there's right. No, like, there's no, like everything has to kind of be edited to a degree within your own kitchen because your That's butter true. In, in your, you know, yeah, neck wood, even in the States, like somebody in Hawaii is not going to have the same butter as somebody yes. in Vermont. It's just impossible. And the humidity it's, is so different where we yeah. are. That and the variations really and elevation. Yes. I didn't know what elevation has a big, a yeah. big uh, factor. So if you guys so. knew what each thing was affecting, then you could start taking a, a base recipe and tweaking it until you got to something that worked for you. Yeah. So if we're oh, doing. Jeremy said we missed alcohol. We didn't oh. use Everclear today. We didn't talk about wine. <laughs> Everybody's digging the fairy in the jar concept. Yeah, that would be fun, I think. Yeah, it's uh, and it's so pretty. Well, I'm just shocked that we finished on time. Well, now we've managed to drag it out and we're two minutes <laughs> over. Well, that's okay. It's two minutes. It's not 20. I don't know how we did that. I thought I would run way over. Well, thank you so much, everybody. Thank and you we'll, uh, if you're just arriving, you can watch it on replay on Facebook and on YouTube. And we'll see you next Tuesday. And I'm on Friday with Tanyelis and Sweet Ams. And we'll see you then. See Bye, you everybody. Guys. Thanks so much for watching.